Good morning, Patreon. Oh, I need my hair washed. I don't know if I should go to salon or do it myself. Anyway, oh sorry. Good morning. Um, today is the day after Thanksgiving, and I wanted to talk about how it is on the holiday time. I j I got access back to uh, my in uh, social media, so. I was able to see everybody celebrating Thanksgiving, and sometimes people, you know, they don't want to, they want to move, and they don't want to celebrate those holidays anymore, and stuff like that, but it's like, for me, it's a nostalgia, and the experience for my kid, you know, so, um, we're actually celebrating today, later, I don't know if I'm gonna film or not, or, you know, capture anything, maybe just, sorry, take pictures, the tub, the tub, the <laughs> pool has been drained, by the way. Uh, we had to fix the lights. The good thing is that the water's been so freaking cold. And and the other great thing is that we have a borehole to fill it back up. I don't know if the wind was messing up the sound or not, but just in case it is. So, yeah, we have to fix those lights. Um, they were, the last time I turned them on when my family was here, they were really dim. And so we drained the water into the street or something, and then... Uh, they're gonna come fix the lighting. I guess the water was leaking behind the lights or something like that, and then the lights were dimming. I don't, I don't know if both if it both had to do with each other or not, but that's what it was. It's um almost it's 12:15. I have to pick up my daughter from school, but uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about. Sorry, I look really really sleepy, but you guys see me like this before. Um, yeah, I. Uh, Yesterday, some holidays are hard, um, some not so much, but Thanksgiving, for me, I don't know, uh, I didn't know what it was going to feel like, uh, you know, you never know which holidays are going to be the ones that emotionally affect you or whatever, it just depends on, yeah, it just depends, so Thanksgiving is a big one for me, last year I was able to... Last year, I had a family member who passed away, a cousin, and but I think I went, I celebrated on Friday, but for some reason, with me, birthdays and holidays, like the day of, I have to do something, even if, like today, we're celebrating with um, some American people and stuff, um, which is Friday, and that's cool, but I still have to do something on the day of, like, for me, my birthday, if the party's on Saturday and my birthday's on Thursday, I have to do something on Thursday to commemorate and then still have the party, like a little something. So last night I wanted to have something, like a good meal, just for myself, you know? But the restaurant I wanted was closed by the time Amadou got there. And I was a little bummed, but I put on my music, my, my oldies but goodies made me think a lot about like my dad, my dad, because I listened to his uh, his um, favorites and stuff. So I like do that to get myself in the mood. I don't know if he meant to leave this door open or not. Mm. But um, but yeah, I was a little sad because it was like at least I could have a good meal and enjoy some food and have that food comfort thing going on. So today, we're celebrating it. Um, Yasin gets out of school in like 10 minutes, so I gotta go pick her up. And so that's cool, early day, make it feel holiday-ish. So yeah, this time of year, especially when it comes to Christmas, I didn't really need Christmas like as an adult as much, but when Yasin was born, just innately, I wanted to do certain traditional things, cooking together, things like that. Uh, but I didn't want it to be about the gifts. I like the, why is this in here? My Alexa is sitting in here in a bag. That's why I couldn't hear the music. Uh, so, you know, not I didn't want it to be about the gifts. I wanted it to be about family time, cooking together, things like that. And. I mean, she's off school. Oh, so I go my new friend. See these um, birds on my balcony. <laughs> these two, uh, I think, 
Are they doing a mating dance? This is a... Uh, my new friends. Uh, I was hoping that the video didn't cut off, but um, I got a phone call. So, what I was saying was, like the holidays, um, last year I got to spend um, Thanksgiving, I think the Friday of Thanksgiving, she got out of school early, like every Friday, so we went to a restaurant, had a big meal, like I had everything I wanted, I ordered and, um, you know, brought stuff home or whatever, and so that was cool, um, I got to eat the things that I wanted, and, um, and that was it, just her and I. And, you know, we said what we were thankful for and stuff. But I think that, um, and last year I got to do Christmas with a friend and her daughter, my friend Mel. So, like, this year I have people coming. They wanted to come for Christmas, but they couldn't. So I have people coming uh, Monday, which today's Friday, yeah, in two days. Whew. But, um, so they'll be here for the pre- holiday spirit like I like the Christmas lights I like and they have Christmas lights here they'll put up you know and Christmas tree it's not like people decorate the outside of their houses but they but um businesses decorate for sure um but um in the street they have all the lights along the street and stuff like that so it's a nice I, I don't know I I just for me I that time of year I I, I enjoy um but I try not to um be so hard on myself like a lot of times people are like oh these american holidays it's all um which christmas is not american but you know thanksgiving and, and like it's all about the propaganda it's all about the commercialism consumerism and which it is but and i do appreciate being away from that but i do know and i have learned this about myself after moving that i do like to be a part of the of the community celebrations. Um, so when they do have holidays here, um, you know, sometimes people, I talk to other expats or whatever, and they're like, oh, I didn't know it was a holiday or I didn't know it was a soccer game today. And it's like, you see everybody dressed up in their in their jerseys and you didn't know why. Like I, and maybe just cause my husband's from here, I happen to be privy, more privy to things, but I just can't see myself, even when they have the holidays here, um, the religious holidays and things like that, I have to participate somehow. Like there have been times where, because we didn't have anybody to watch our house, um, I had to stay home and stay behind, and it really sucked not being a part. Even though I don't always eat all the food and I don't always um, understand what people are saying, it just feels for me like. I'm missing I don't like it's so quiet and I'm just by myself so I couldn't imagine doing that but yeah even on my own holidays that I enjoy and um you know it's not a holiday here I don't notice it it's a holiday here until the day comes and people text me or something like that from the states but yeah certain holidays are important to me and I um you know before coming I had already decided what I was gonna do and I don't care about you know, the Mother's Day, Father's Day, that kind of stuff. Um, does it, But everybody's different. So, I, I mean, you know, if you move, if certain things are important to you, and there's Mother's Day here on a different day, of course. But I'm not into the, like, every holiday has to be important because it's all around you and everybody's doing it. Like, um, I don't like feeling forced and pressured. So I like that part about being away from the consumerism uh, of the states where they're selling everything on the street and you feel like if you didn't like here it doesn't feel like if you didn't get anything for your family or a gift for your mom you're like a bad person or something like if you didn't get anything for valentine's day oh my god so they're not overly with the with the commercialism of stuff you know like people buy outfits for their holidays the religious holidays mostly but um but, and maybe they feel, you know, pressure to do that, have a new outfit. But other than that, it's not like you got to buy gifts for people and you got to buy. Um, if you could buy a big lamb, buy a big lamb. And if you can't, you have chicken or goat or something. But, yeah, so, anyway, so that's what I just wanted to share. Um, I was feeling a little bummed yesterday because I didn't get my good food that I wanted. And I was just going to have my music on, listen to the Isley Brothers and just, you know feel a part of 
even though the celebration is going on elsewhere, you know, Thanksgiving was one of my one of my one of my things with the food and everything. I don't care about the the historical stuff. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, you know, I mean, not that it doesn't matter, but I don't associate myself with with that part of it. It's just the you know, it becomes a part of who you are, regardless of where it originated and all that. So anyway, just something to think about. All right. I got to go. I'm going to just call me to tell me that he wasn't picking up my daughter. So I got to do it. So I'll see you guys later. And um, if I can share a little bit of the Thanksgiving, I'll try. Maybe I'll take pictures or do little videos. I don't know. We'll see how the, how the vibe is. If it's a lot of people, if it's, you know, how people are feeling. But I definitely plan to enjoy it. This is my first Thanksgiving with people. So that's cool being here and, and doing that. Um, but I definitely still, next year, if we have it, I definitely still need to um, celebrate on the day somehow for myself. That's just, because that's just who I am. And who are we if not learning who we are in life day by day and growing as people? <laughs> I tried to sound uh, profound and, and poetic. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.